And we'll welcome you those who were watching Northwestern take down Penn State with Sean Morris, Jeff Levering with you from Iowa City. Peyton Sanford knocks down the jumper, 4-2 Iowa early. And continuing the theme that carries over from the game at Penn State earlier this week, Jeff, where they got 46 points in the paint, four points from the Hawkeyes so far today, all of them in the painted area. Dawson Garcia, he's got all... Such a fun matchup with Cricky and Dawson Garcia. Good job by Cricky of understanding his fellow left-hander wants to get to that shoulder and forced him out. Payne, another offensive rebound. Payne goes up with it, scores. Over to Mitchell for three. Good look, oh, nicely done by Christie. Just ripped it out of the sky on that pass from Sanford. Garcia left alone underneath. And if Christie doesn't... Cricky. Dips under and it's blocked by Fox and he's wagging his finger like Matumbo. Parker Fox has played brilliantly defensively over the last five or six games. Nice inside pass. there's Parker Fox. Really well done by Mitchell of waiting to that double team of breakdown and communication on that high ball screen from the Hawkeyes and then Fox held that count just enough to allow the passing angle to develop. Perkins fouled on his shot. It's in Iowa over their last five from the floor. On the road in East Lansing, they were without Hawkins that particular day. Only missed one game, the six and five, and they're teetering towards the top tier in the Big Ten. And Iowa, sort of a little bit of a matchup zone off that out-of-bounds situation. In Minnesota right now, they finally figured it out. Good pass, good skip pass. Well done. Get the ball right at the elbow, and he steals it away from Cricky. Garcia, Man, able to answer on the other end. They're going to look at that. They're going to call team defense by Fox to help out as well. Time winding down on the shot clock. Another steal by Minnesota. This time Mike Mitchell and Perkins steals it right back. Sanford in transition. Boy, did the Hawkeyes need that triple. Remember the earlier four-point swing on the steal by Christie there? That poor pass, that's a five-point swing. Two that Minnesota left wanting, and then the three knocked down by Sanford. Good pick up by Sanford. Loose ball handled. Minnesota maintains possession. Garcia drives left hand. He'll go to the line. Conference play. Never looked good coming out no. of his hand. 82% free throw shooter. That one. Hawkins back on and Garcia as well for Minnesota. Over to Sanford for three and rattles home. Pricing pass because it hit Sanford right in his shooting pocket because the closeout couldn't get there in time. Hawkins bleeds in, feeds Garcia, and Garcia goes to the line. And Hawkins may have even picked that pass off if it's even a little bit lower. Dr. Tom Davis with the win at Minnesota. Got outscored 35 to 18 in the final 10 minutes of that game. McCaffrey trying to keep it alive and does. Shot clock winding down, it's at five. McCaffrey drives and able to get it. Well, and Joseph was okay. how much time was on the shot clock. He didn't panic and force up a three. Got in the lane, he did that a couple of times at Penn State. His ability to score off the dribble in the painted area, very impressive. Dawson Garcia dials up a triple. He's in double figures. Garcia not having a great year from behind the arc at about 27%, but Man, that's going to make his dribble drives that much more difficult to defend. He's got 14 of the 21 so far. Sanford able to hit the tough shot. And another good job by Sanford of forcing him to utilize that rhythm dribble. He wasn't able to catch and release as he did on the first make. Perkins inside, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Takes us to a timeout. Onslaught, and that's going to make his dribble drive that much more difficult to defend. And and foul on Elijah Hawkins, who leads not just the Golden Gophers, but the Big Ten in the city. See Isaiah Enan on the floor for the first time for Minnesota. A little bit of a different zone look here. Cross court pass into the corner for Carrington for three. Oh. He's got his second one. How about this? Down by seven. Big game for both teams. Six and five for Minnesota, five and seven for Iowa in the conference. 
McCaffrey fouled and won. Boy, the last two ball games, his ability to press him off the dribble in the painted area over the last two. Just a little half check. Jerseys and the baseline. Garcia to the right hand. Nice. Man, if he's able to score at the rim with either team needs him to perform, especially with two players with two fouls and on the bench. Offensive rebound by Freeman. Freeman got blocked by Garcia. Sanford's there. Gets it to his younger brother. Price can't hit it. And then Peyton Sanford hammered on the other end. Be there with the ability to finish at the rim with the right hand. Well, that's a game and Peyton Sanford from that three spot, the leading rebounder. On McCaffrey for three. Two out of seven to start the game for Iowa. Where are you throwing that thing? A little careless fast break opportunity. Iowa McCaffrey able to get the feed from Sanford. And not just line back in within two. Kind of a hybrid zone man to man here for. Iowa's Mitchell drains the three over well during his time in the Twin Cities as well, 38%. For Tony Perkins uh, looked like he was ready for that pass. Nice. nice pick and roll into Garcia, and here come the Golden Gophers. Iowa back to back possessions. Smart. Smart by Mitchell. Back it out. Reset that offense all kinds of time. Mitchell drives, and he'll go to the line. And a nice team for Dawson Garcia. Mitchell hits the first in the 24-7 channel for your favorite school. No plus like home. Subscribe. 7-0 run. And careless with the basketball last couple of possessions. Dix falls away. Garcia pulls in the rebound. Carrington able to absorb the contact and hit. Boy, they are attacking in transition before Iowa can get situated defensively. Perkins was fouled to Carrington so far in this game. And you could see percent on the season coming in. He's a much better shooter than that. He's dealt with a lot of stuff off the court this year. It's a big game for Carrington. He's become a really good defender. With that high post area, paid dividends for Garcia. Well done to find it. Nice. There's Christie for three. Drilled it. Great ball movement. This Minnesota team does not look like a team averaging under 70 points per game in conference play. And the ball isn't sticking. That ball never hit the floor once it hit Garcia's hands. Freeman backing down. Oh, shoulders and a jam. I've had enough of this. He's such an impressive player, Owen Freeman. Spin move on to the baseline, now spins into the paint, right hand, no offensive rebound, he'll go to the free throw line. And this is where the two early fouls. And Fox just picked up his second. So you're looking at some <laughs> Iowa's not been able to really take advantage of it, however. Trying to ratchet up a little bit of pressure defensively. Good job by Christie of coming to meet the ball. Carrington, wide open three, rattles in. With Double figures for Carrington. Jeff Minnesota in the previous meeting was five for 29 from three against Iowa. He's mentioned six out of nine so far this afternoon. Nice pass. Oh. Fox, another dunk. I mean, Mitchell, really impressive. Mitchell so far, four assists for the Golden Gophers. Give and go there with Freeman. Freeman gives it up, Sanford. And now Dix drives. Nice. Nice by Iowa, but not seven. A nice job of getting in the lane. We talked about it earlier over the last couple of ball games. Freeman took it away and dumps it home. And just surgical the way that he is able to come away with points on those out of bounds plays, as you mentioned. They work so tirelessly and shoot arounds on it. Christie hangs and he'll go to the free throw line. And watch the pass from McKay. Christie hits the first horse out. Pair of free throws for Cam Christie. To a 13 point lead for Minnesota. Led by as many as 15 in the game. Perkins into the corner for McCaffrey. Freeman taps to himself. What? And another two for Owen Freeman. The difference of three pointers made by Minnesota. Yep. Garcia has pocket picked by Perkins, but right there, Fox. 
Couldn't hit the shot, got another shot at it and missed. Right back out to Mitchell for three. Boy, what a backbreaker for the Gophers. Yeah, Fox missed a couple, but he had the presence of mind on the next one to look weak side for the open three. Perkins was falling down, thought he got fouled, no whistle. A lot of maroon, transition three, good again for Mitchell. McCaffrey trying to do it himself. McCaffrey kicks it out, Sanford's got to go with it. Sanford able to beat the shot clock, rebound Freeman and another dunk. Seven for the Hawkeyes. If you're, right, and you're beating on a drive, Look, you can give a foul. There's only five fouls right now, so rather than give up a cheap basket, you can force Minnesota to try to earn it in a different way if you so choose. Three-second difference, shot clock, game clock. Steal by Freeman. Freeman running the floor. Woo! Big man, steal and dunk. Mitchell down low. They can't beat the clock. A great finish to the half of the Hawkeyes. How about Freeman? Not just with the steal, but watch the speed dribble. If he doesn't get the ball out in front of him and essentially chase it down, his momentum, look at the speed drill, boom, get it out in front. That last dribble was making all the difference, Jeff. If that thing's on his hip, he's not going to be able to score. The first one, that dribble right there allowed him to turn the corner. The floor for long periods of time with two early fouls. Mitchell kind of stepped into that rule and did a more than admirable job. You see how this offense for Minnesota comes out of the gates with those guys back on the floor with those two fouls as Payne gets it to Hawkins now over to Mitchell. Still plenty of time in that shot clock. Hawkins around the horn to Christie for three. And they start the second half just as they finish the first. And Hawkins able to turn that corner and get it out to Christie who just continues to impress. Shot ready. That's how you shoot 42% from deep. For Hawkins, just his second assist. There's Cricky, who barely played in that first half, and he hits a jumper. First time Minnesota's had a lead going into the break in a conference game this year. Nine and one when leading at halftime this season overall. Gopher's got to get going. Hawkins falls away. His jumper good right at Cricky, just his second shot. He is 0 for 2, has yet to score a point in this game. Remember, he had 25 the last time these two teams met. Christie, three ball. Got another one. Cam Christie. Handoff, and if you're not there on the catch, that release is quick and pretty by the freshman Christie. Cricky finally in the stat sheet and score column. Payne stays on the floor with those three fouls. Payne with the right hand and a foul by Freeman. He's shooting it better, however, from the free throw line. Ten. Missed them both. Good job by Perkins of forcing Garcia out away from the rim. And Garcia wants out of the ball game. He's grabbing the jersey. That's a universal sign that I need a break. And his coach is telling you the media timeout's on its way. Now Mike. They still be feeling the effects of that drive a couple of possessions ago on offense. Sanford will go to the line for a chance for one more. Minnesota's got four and double figures. As Sanford, how do you get yourself back into this ball? It's got to be this end of the floor. You, you have to limit second chance opportunities, take away the post ups, and be out there aggressively on those three-pointers. And again, this Minnesota has been stellar in running their stuff. And because of the main threes by Christie, they close out. It's not necessarily under the under control, and then Payne's able to slip. 18 assists on 24 buckets as Perkins was left alone in the paint. Because what Fox did now, the next tie-up situation will go to the advantage of the Gophers. Fox skies for the rebound. Sanford was left wide open. Sanford so far today from three, one out of six. Man, look at Christie. Woo. And on the far side of the floor, Mitchell did his job giving himself up in transition. Jeff. He sprinted to that far corner, and because he's knocked down so many threes, S3. Picking up right where he left off. Sanford intercepts the pass numbers for Iowa. Five on two if Perkins goes. Perkins bleeds inside. 
Minnesota almost to their league average in points per game, averaging 69 per league game as Christie elevates for two more. One bit. Did a nice job on this end of the floor as well today. Freeman's got it isolated against Payne. Now Cricky from the elbow for two. But facing the Hawkeyes at the 12-minute mark. Fox goes to the paint. Fox tapped it in himself. Nice job by Christie of, or by Fox rather, of reloading. Knew he missed it. Went back up. Nice activity by Parker Fox. Patrick McCaffrey tickles the twine. Three of the second half for Minnesota. Jeff, I just took a glance over at the Minnesota bench. I don't see Dawson Garcia there at all. Freeman left hand. There's goal ten. Feels the double, kicks it out to Carrington. Wrap it around to Mitchell. Mitchell's floater short. See if Iowa can get it into single digits. McCaffrey fouled, he'll go to the line. That foul on Fox. That'll be McCaffrey two out of two, 10 point game. Fox is playing the pseudo five. McCaffrey goes and Ola Joseph for two more. It's an eight-point deficit. Christy. There's the back door. Nice job by Dix of opening up. Really well done by Dix. Here's Christie for two. No good. Rebound controlled by Hawkins. Now Carrington, the ball fake. Goes to the rack and the layup. Good. And one. And he for Braden Carrington and he converts. Perkins looking for space. He had space, didn't take the shot. Could be, this would be a good time to get the ball in the hands of Freeman. There it is. Mismatch on Ola Joseph. Nice Kicks pass. it out. McCaffrey for three. How about the look weak side? Hawkins on a dime. Dishes Fox. Good. What do you think uh, in terms of the Super Bowl, Sean? Just want to get a quick prediction. It's Hawkins takes it. Carrington blocked by McCaffrey, but a foul. And that's what Minnesota was able to do in the first half. They, they punished Iowa by getting over the top and attacking the rim. We talked about the fact that their offense had become kind of stagnant. Good job of gathering, and Carrington will shoot in the first half. In the second half, that's one of the few opportunities they've been out to get out and run. I think Brock Purdy is a great story. I'm an Iowa guy. George Kittle played at Iowa. There's your analysis. All right, perfect. I guarantee that a team that has red in their color scheme will win. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, they don't call you the best in the business for nothing, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling for the Niners. Go Freeman right to the rack again. Owen Freeman, a double-double in that. Every time. Oh, he is the bus. Freeman converts on the three-point play. Minnesota was up by 18. And 18 also. The number he scored in the first half. Perkins with two more and don't paint him. Perkins doing a nice job on Hawkins. It's turned over and a foul by Ola Joseph. Free throws coming for Iowa. Knocks down the first. Two short shot clock, seven to shoot. Into the corner, Carrington, short on the three. The threes have really dried up for Minnesota recently. And he was kind of fighting his feet and fading back on that one. Perkins to McCaffrey for three. Short. Freeman into Sanford's hands. The foot of Dix Four went out of bounds. Four and a half seconds on the shot clock. Christie in the corner, an air ball. Up ahead, McCaffrey running. McCaffrey lays it up and in. Down by one. Mitchell from the baseline. Too strong. Freeman, another rebound. Chance to take the lead. Sanford drives. First lead since it was 2 0. Timeout, Minnesota. Christie to make a play for you. Hawkins for three. Gets the long rebound. Hawkins again. Rims in and out over the last seven. Payne battling, and he's fouled. 
ball game at 40%. And now you're in crunch time. 0 for 4 from the line for Payne. Good strong rebound by Perkins in traffic. Sanford, transition three. Buried in. Good trap, Payne looking for help. Carrington passed up the three. And right now, Minnesota, to say they're tentative on this end of the floor would be an understatement. Hawkins dishes. Fox is there for the flush. Two-point ball game. With the foul trouble on Payne, might be a good time to utilize Freeman here. Hawkins went for the reach. Perkins splits two. Perkins right hand. On his condition, just not on the playing floor right now. And Perk 11 for 23 in the game now. But it's been a while since they've hit one. Perkins trying to initiate on Carrington. Perkins falls away. High archer, no good, and a foul. You know, and Carrington had done such a good job. Perkins at the line had just hit two, and this is the thing. When they attempt 20 or more foul shots, they are... Unsung hero has been the job Dix has done on Christie here in the last four or five minutes. Blocking foul will go against Sanford. He can't believe it. Carrington will go to the line. Everybody in the crowd with mouths wide open. Two for two. He's five out of five from the... Put Payne in a high screen and roll or a straight out post up on a ball reversal. To Dix. Short. Freeman comes away with it. Freeman blocked by Payne. How about the gutsy play by Payne? With four fouls, that's a huge play. Chance to tie for Minnesota. Hawkins up top. Payne. Oh, it didn't need the dribble. Man, he dribbled himself into trouble. Line. Dribble. One out of two for Payne. Standing foul shooter, right? Team at 78%. Just continue to attack. Sanford, three. Rammed in and out. Freeman battling again. McCaffrey's got it. Pulls it out. Ripped away by Hawkins and a foul. That's on Hawkins. Pass. 21 for Pat, phony pressure, but pressure nonetheless. Four point lead for the Hawkeyes under a minute. Christie blocked by Freeman. Wonderful closeout by Freeman. And Minnesota didn't help their cause because he didn't catch it cleanly. And if this game goes Iowa's way, he may not have scored a lot, but the job Josh Dix defensively on Christie is going to be a big part. Especially in the second half. He's been remarkable oh, in a big way. And talk about closing out. How about right here? Good job by Dix of rotating over and then because he didn't catch it cleanly and then the presence of mind by Freeman to come over and attack that shooting pocket. Okay, he didn't just do a flyby. He attacked the shooting pocket. McCaffrey and Sanford have combined for 26 in the second half. Five to shoot. Perkins bleeding that clock down. He's got to get going. Hawkins oh, and a foul. Why? I mean, if you're sent free throw shooter. <laughs> Iowa played in the first half to say that they could potentially have 90 points in this game. The disappointment of the second 20 minutes doesn't carry over to Purdue next. No easy task. Oh. Mitchell drives. May have been the last ditch effort. Christie for three off the heel. Freeman another rebound. Enan fouls him, 7.4 to go. Regardless of zone defense or man-to-man, -man, and they made the adjustments. Intensity, especially of Josh Dix. I want to continue to give accolades to that young man.
the, he's showing you you don't have to score to impact the ball game. Oh, Mitchell hits a three late. But that's going to do it for this one. Iowa wins it 90-85. It is the second largest come from behind victory for the Hawkeyes in school history. They were down by as many as 20. Fran McCaffrey and company climb back into it. Six and seven now in conference play. Minnesota, their three-game winning streak is snapped.